Questions 11 through 15 ask you to decide whether the two triangles given are congruent or not based on the postulates or the theorems that we learned in class. So first, let's review um, what our options are. We can have SSS, meaning um, all three sides um, are showing that they are congruent. We can have SAS, where one angle is in between two um, congruent sides. We can also have ASA, which would be an angle, and then a side, and then an angle. We can also have AAS. We can have angle, angle side. And then another one, just dealing with right, right triangles, is hypotenuse leg. And remember what we can't have. We can't have this bad word here in our answer. And we can't have ah in our answer either. All right, so we can't have either one of those, so we're looking at number 11. First, we need to mark what we know is true. This triangle shares this line right there, so therefore, we can say that they are the same lengths. So I have a side, a side, and a side. So, because the congruent marks are all on the three sides, I can say that yes, this is congruent, by SSS, side, side, side. All right, number 12, we need to mark the um, what we know to be true. So we know that they share that line, so therefore they have um, that in common and it's congruent. And so looking at this one, I have an angle, a side, and an angle. So that's yes by ASA, angle, side, angle. All right, number 13 looks like a bow tie, so I know that I've got congruent angles here because they're vertical angles to each other. So it looks here like I have an angle, angle, side. So this would be yes by A, A, S. Taking a look at number 14, I need to mark my congruent vertical angles. And this gives me a side, I'm sorry, an angle, an angle, and an angle. So that gives me, ah, and that means that um, it is not congruent or we can't tell um, based on the fact because it's one of these two that can't show congruency. Number 15, um, let's mark the line that we know is congruent. Notice that this one has a right triangle or a right angle in it, so therefore this is a right triangle. So look at the hypotenuse, which is always going to be directly across from your hypot uh, from your hypotenuse, so I have my hypotenuse here, and I have a leg here. So anytime that your hypotenuse is showing congruency between your two triangles, and then you have an additional leg, then you can say yes by hypotenuse leg.